Today, I'm doing my coin analysis on one of my new favorite coins. Definitely a top five on my list, Dragon Chain. This one has had me excited for a few weeks. In my Discord, I've been just preaching Dragon Chain. I've finally done an extensive amount of research on it, and I'm hoping after this video, you will be just as excited as I am. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Crypto Picks. Before I begin, let me just say thanks to all my subscribers and especially those that are coming to my Discord. Thank you so much for just joining us and making this adventure so much more fun. If you haven't yet, smash that like and subscribe button and let's get started. Before we begin, this is what we will go over in this coin analysis. And compared to my other recent videos, the only difference is the stars will be between 1 in 10 instead of 1 in 5, which has been used in the previous videos. So first, what problems is Dragon Chain trying to solve? Of course, Dragon Chain is a platform and they're trying to fix data exposure and security. So with smart contracts, enterprises are exposed and transparent, which in most cases is pretty good. But a business that typically has very sensitive consumer data, they may have regulatory or legal risk associated with that data. So they're trying to make a more private blockchain to fix this issue. Now we have Dragon Chain's project idea. So before I tell you about the project idea, I want to give you a little bit of information on why people call it Disney's platform. Dragon Chain was originally developed at Disney Seattle in 2015 and 2016 as Disney's private blockchain platform. That platform was later released as open source software in October 2016. So what is Dragon Chain? It's a commercial platform for application developers to rapidly and securely deploy blockchain applications while maintaining existing language development environments in Java, Python, Node, C Sharp, and Go. They want to offer these variety of languages to simplify integration of real business applications onto a blockchain and provide features such as easy integration, currency agnosticism, multi-currency support, and protection of business data and operations. So Dragon Chain is designing their protocol to be more private than other blockchains. So what is the Dragon token used for? It's basically gonna be used by developers and organizations to interact with the platform. And it will also be used to support projects within the incubator. So token holders such as you and I will be given early access to their ICOs on the platform and also given pretty big discounts as you can see above me, that's their most recent ICO that will be happening soon. Also, at least with some ICOs, token holders of the Dragon Chain token will be the only people that can participate in the ICO. So what about their team? And you know this is one of my most important parts. They actually have a fairly big team, so I'm gonna be super brief and just talk about the three stars in their leadership section. So Joe is their first superstar slash multi-star, and man, this guy is a superstar. He's the CEO, chief architect, and founder at Dragon Chain. He has three years of experience at Disney as a senior software architect and principal blockchain architect. He also worked at Lockheed Martin for three years and he has so much more ex significant experience. He's getting his green star because he's been in the development space since 1996, meaning he has over 20 years of experience. So it's definitely exciting to see a CEO with such an impressive resume. Next, we have our second superstar slash multi-star, which is actually fairly rare at least with my most recent videos, Eileen. She is the Dragon Chain president and founder. She spent seven years at Disney as a senior information architect and tech evangelist, and also three years at, at Amazon. And she also has worked at LexisNexis as an engineer for over five years. She's getting her green star because she's been in this space since 1992. So she obviously has over 20 years of experience. And that's the requirement I look for for the green star. And then finally, I'm going to end it with Paul. And he is their newest member, which I just saw on Telegram about this announcement. He is their chief technology officer at Dragon Chain. He gets his superstar experience for his six years of experience as a software system, as a staff software engineer at Disney. And he has also worked at Amazon as a software development engineer. So easy superstar for me. So as you can see, they have some two big multi-superstars on the team that have super important roles in the project. So it's nice to see. 
They also, as you can see, their smaller part of their team that aren't part of leadership do have some stars, a multi, or not a multi-star, a green star, and then two just normal stars. Again, such an impressive team. I love seeing this. And I did tell you I was going to stop talking about advisors, but I need to talk about Dragon Chain's advisors because they are super impressive as well. This one's going to be super quick. We have Maria Smith. She worked at Disney for 15 years as VP of Finance and has also been working at Starbucks for the past two years as VP of Partnerships and Payment Strategy. Definitely a superstar there. Next, we have our superstar Ed Fries, who was the vice president at Microsoft for 18 years, and he's the co-founder of Xbox. Obvious superstar there. And then Tom Bush. I don't know if this guy's a superstar, but he was the assistant director of the FBI Criminal Information Services Division. I think this is pretty legit that he was the assistant director of a portion of the FBI. That's pretty cool. The rest of their advisors are also great, such as Jeff. Check him out if you doubt the rest of the team at all. So now for Dragon Chain's marketing. Their Telegram, super active. You can chat with their team there. I was talking with Eileen and Joe. They have Twitter, which is also super active with updates and announcements for their platform, including their upcoming ICOs. Their Medium, super active with articles about their platform and just information related to that. I couldn't find anything on YouTube. And as you can see, there's a cross out on Facebook. I'm crossing this out because it always seems to have the same information as Twitter and it's pretty much just regurgitating the same information on that one. So totally canceling out Facebook for the future. So now for their competition, and it's also gonna be super brief. As you can see here, I have edited the diagram and you can kind of compare them between all the big competitors at the moment. I do love how they have a huge amount of languages just like Neblio. Their protocol is fairly unique as you can see here. And then their blockchain is a fixed five seconds. And if you want any more information, Joe is in the Telegram, eager to answer any questions you guys have. They also just had an AMA, so maybe some of your questions can be answered there. Now, what about Dragon Chain's market cap? Right now, they're sitting around 186 million market cap, currently around 80 cents, 5,900 sats. The all-time high was $1.24, around 6,500 sats. Again, that's kind of depending on Bitcoin's price. That was on December 19th, 2017. Circulating supply, 238 million. Total supply, 433 million. And then their volume is looking at about 3.4 million right now, but was 5.4 million on December 19th. So the reason that I think they're so undervalued is because of their exchanges they are on. KuCoin and Ether Delta. hopefully, and I think this will happen, they will be on Binance soon, just watch, and the price will easily double. So now we have Dragon Chain's roadmap. This one's super descriptive, super detailed, go check it out. For the sake of time, I am not gonna go over it. It talks about every single month from the October when they were talk, doing their ICO all the way down to September 2018, with each month being super detailed as an investor. I love seeing this, super exciting. Again dragonchain.com slash roadmap go get more details if you want it now the pros and cons of the project the project's been going on since 2015 originally developed at disney amazing team and advisors the hodl idea is super solid and gives investors a huge incentive to keep holding their tokens in their wallet they have a unique idea more private blockchain enterprises should love this and then there's a high return on investment potential. Very low market cap compared to its competition. And then the, finally, they're already having ICOs on their platform. That one is super huge, super important. And now the cons, KuCoin and Aether Delta, super annoying to buy from. It needs to get on Binance, but if you are wanting to invest, get it now before it jumps on there because the price will double. I'm assuming maybe proof of stake. A lot of people love when they can get more coins by just holding in their wallet, kind of like Neblio. This one does not have that. And then also their fierce competition. They're going against Neblio, Stratus, Ethereum, Neo, Lisk. As you can see in my diagram, they have some of the biggest names out there. So now for my final slide, the stars I will be giving them. Again, this is based on one through 10 my new format to make it a little more detailed for you. Dragon Chain is getting nine out of 10 stars for me. And this is mostly because it's such a new platform 
and we aren't exactly sure how well it will scale for the large number of projects they're wanting to, to host on their platform. But as you can see throughout this whole video, the positives are extreme. There are so many that make this project so exciting to be in. Go check out Dragon Chain, check out their chat on their Telegram, talk to the team, talk to the community. You can see how much they love this project and that it is worth scooping up. Don't forget to do your own research. Thanks again. Remember to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.